it goes red when there's enemies and obviously it goes up and down when the gun recoils. So it's kind of like playing in first person, but just a little bit different. Hey guys, Dean here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mod Warhammer Darktide. It's an absolutely incredible game. Think of Left 4 Dead 2, but instead of zombies, you have undead, corrupted Imperials infected by the chaos. This is an incredible game. It's just like Vermintide, but in my opinion, even cooler because it has guns. And not many people even know that this game is moddable and there's some super cool mods, some of which I'm going to show you later so let's first start with the how to guide and tutorial and i'll show you how to install the mods and some examples of installing some of the more popular ones and then i'll show you a little bit of gameplay to close out this video to show you what some of these mods are actually like so without further ado let's get into it so both of these links are going to be linked down below in the description but the first step we have to take is we have to actually install and download what's called the dark tide mod loader so basically this is just a simple tool that allows us to enable and disable mods in the game and this is required required for basically all mods to work, specifically the ones that are built upon its framework, which is the Darktide mod framework. Some of the Warhammer games do have anti-cheat on, and originally Darktide did have easy anti-cheat on, but I believe even though some of the files still remain in the folder, they did remove easy anti-cheat, so it shouldn't be anything there to block you from installing mods, and you don't have to worry about being banned because a lot of people are using this. What we want to go ahead and do is we want to download this, but let me just explain the whole Darktide mod loader a little bit first. Now, one interesting interesting thing is when dark tide actually updates the reason i'm telling you this is you'll run into this later you need to run the toggle dark tide mods script to re-enable your mods after an update so they do have that file in there for you to do so because when warhammer push an update on the game it's going to disable your mods by default so you're gonna have to use that file to re-enable those now this mod's going to be downloaded and installed directly to our game folder so i'm going to show you how to do that and not the mods folder inside the game folder and some mods have dependencies which are different mods that they require to be installed as well for them to work so if you're getting crashes make sure those are installed and make sure the game folder the mods folder and the mod load order looks the way that i show you in this video so you don't have to run into those crashing problems in the end and if you do of course do leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and of course if you've broken your game and there's no way back from this video and you maybe do the steps incorrectly or you download a mod which messes everything up and you can't remove it successfully just verify your game files through steam and restart the process from step zero and that I'll sort it out. So let's go ahead and let's download this mod first. So go ahead and press download. Now there's going to be a manual button. So press manual. It's right next to my camera in the top right. It's an orange button. Press manual and we can go ahead and download it. And of course, make sure you're logged into Nexus to download it. So when you've logged into your account, go ahead and press on slow download if you're not subscribed to Nexus Premium. Otherwise, you can download the premium one. So now we have a file over here. So we're going to right click on the zip and we're going to extract it using whatever zip file explorer that you've got i use winrar so i'm going to press extract to dark tide mod loader or open it with whichever software you have like winzip or the windows file explorer and now we can double click inside and we have all of these files which are our mod files to install right next step go to your steam library right click on warhammer dark tide press manage and then browse local files this will take us directly to the warhammer dark tide folder so now i'm going to make two windows i'm going to drag this to the side of my screen and snap it and then we're going to have the download folder on the right hand side that we just opened and our dark tide directory on the left so we can easily manage both of them now all of these files here from the dark tide mod loader folder we're just going to extract them into our warhammer dark tide folder so we're going to drag them all in here and press copy to or just move them in there like so and now we've installed the mod loader now what you want to do is where it says toggle dark tide mods you want to open this file so just double click it and what will come up is it says starting dark tide patcher successfully patched bundle database dot data and it says dark tide is now patched to load mods so just press ok and then any key to continue on your keyboard and it shall close it okay so that's toggling your mods so that will enable mods and now if we install mods it's enabled them okay and we can use that again later if it updates to retoggle the mods now that we've downloaded the dark tide mod loader that's for enabling our mods we actually need to install the dark tide mod framework itself which is typically how we're going to actually install our mods this is the community run framework of modules that allow enhanced modding capabilities to the game so this allows us to manage our installed mods in game and it originally started for vermintide okay and it's been rewritten and redesigned for dark tide so just go ahead same process just click on manual and then press download this requires the mod loader but we've already installed the mod loader now so we're going to install the mod framework in the same way so i'm going to go back into my windows download folder i'm 
now going to extract the mod framework folder and I'm going to go inside the mod framework folder. So now we have this folder here, DMF. So I'm going to double click on that. And here's all the files inside that folder. Now this is actually installed as a folder into the mods folder. So let me show you how that works. So on our left screen in our dark tide directory, we open from steam. There's a mods folder in here. Okay. And when we double click on it, there's just a base mod and we have the mod load order. Now the DMF folder, which is the dark tide mod framework that acts as a mod. So we're going to drag that into this mod folder and copy it over. And now we can load that as a physical mod itself. So now that we've installed the dark tide mod framework and the mod loader, we're now going to install some mods. So let me show you step by step how we can install mods and how those work. They work in a very similar way, but it's not as straightforward as the one we just did. This is going to basically work very similar for most mods, but some of them may differ. So remember to always refer to their mods page and possibly their readme file in the downloaded folder which you actually downloaded from the mods page because then it'll show you any extra steps or steps which are different typically to the others. So now we're on the dark tide mod directory on Nexus mods. This will be linked down below as well. I'm going to search for some mods we want to download. So I've just found a few different mods which I personally want to install. So I'm going to show you how to install all of these mods. So the first one is numeric UI. So this mod basically adds little numbers to the side of the hood which shows the armor and health values that the player has rather than just trying to gauge what it is by the actual bar itself visually then open steam profiles pretty cool so like if you play with someone that's really good you can add them on steam toggle interact just means like when you're interacting with an object like medic stations you can just press e and then it'll complete and fill the bar and heal you instead of having to hold the key down that's just a quality of life mod which i think is pretty cool perspectives which allows you to switch to over the shoulder surfing and third person mode which completely changes how the game's played and dynamic cross crosshair which is kind of required for that mod to work as well as ads crosshair which is also required for it to work too which toggles a crosshair when you aim down the sights which is useful because when you're in third person then you can also see that crosshair when you aim so let's go ahead and download these first i'm going to download them all in the same fashion by just pressing manual and then downloading the files obviously they require the framework and the mod loader but luckily we've already installed both of those already so just go ahead now download all the mod files you need you can download different ones to what i'm downloading there's not actually the that many dark tide mods because the modern scene is actually relatively quite new with it so you're probably going to download very similar mods to me or you might even want to download these two which are pretty easy to find right so now in our downloads folder again i'm just going to delete these two original mod frameworks and loaders just so we don't get confused and i'm going to highlight all of these which are the mods we just downloaded and i'm going to extract each of them to a separate folder we can only do this if you have winrar installed otherwise you'll have to open them all individually winrar is completely free so i recommend just using it so we're going to install these one by one now some of them are very simple for an example you just drag them into the mods folder so it's the folder with all the files in it like this we just drag them into the mods folder so that's the ads crosshair mod then we have dynamic crosshair which works exactly the same we have the numeric ui mod if you just go inside the folder and inside that folder there's a scripts folder and similar files to this that means you just drag the container folder inside like so so i'll do the same with all of these because they all seem to be very simple ones to install and then we'll drag them in our dark tides mod folder and delete the files in our downloads so now we're going back inside our dark tide folder for this part now inside our dark tide folder you'll see inside this mods folder we have this text file mod load order .txt. right click on this and press edit this will open up notepad as you can see over here and now we're going to have to do something inside here now for our mods to actually load and work we have to actually enter the names of these folders into this notepad and it's surprisingly not actually that hard to do it so let me show you how we do that now as you can see you don't actually need to write base which is the base mod or dmf which is our dark tide modding framework because those load by default so we don't need to do that we also don't need to rename the mods folder we just need to type the folder name we just simply enter them below below this part here over here i have a bunch of different mods so when we ignore base in dmf like it told us to i have quite a few mods so we have ads crosshair you can see the folder names on the left if you want to compare them to what i'm typing in they're basically the same remember this is case sensitive so if you have capitals you need to type them exactly how they appear in windows numeric ui open steam profile perspectives and toggle interact so now we can just go ahead and press file and then save on our mod load order and then we can close it and you have to repeat this process every time you install a new mod install the folder into the mods folder and then add the name of the folder to the mod load order dot text so it actually recognizes it now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to launch dark tide and there should now be a new 
new option inside the game which says mods on it, which should actually be inside the escape menu. Remember if your game crashes or if the game receives an update, you might need to rerun this file. So if we go back into the main Darktide base folder, this file here, toggle Darktide mods, you might need to rerun this if the game crashes. We can just double click it again and it says it's already patched. Would you like to remove the patch? Just press no and then we can go off this. So you only need to patch it once unless there's an update. Okay, so now let's go in Steam and we're going to launch Darktide and we're going to test out our mods. So just go ahead and press play. We don't need to go onto the settings as you can see because this is launcher settings and wait for the game to load like normal. Okay, so now it says welcome to the Darktide mod framework. Mod options have been added to the options menu. So let's just press space to go onto the main menu and I'll show you that sub menu in game. So now we're on the character select screen. But if we press escape for the escape menu, we now have mod options. So if we click on that, we now have toggle mods so we can turn them on or off here so we can toggle individual mods obviously we can't toggle the framework itself but we can toggle all the mods perspectives can't be toggled off as well that's our third person mod that stays on unless we just delete it for some reason but we can toggle all these different mods so you can see all the mods we installed now have appeared in game so that means they're working and each one as well as being able to toggle them we can go into interactive settings so we can configure the mod framework itself so the keybind for the options menu we can enable developer mode we can show the developer console for an example so i could toggle it with the tilde key and turn it on and we can enable things like logging then we can go on our dynamic crosshair and we can change the colors of it our numeric ui we can customize this open steam profile will it open it in the overlay perspectives so switch perspective what key should this be i'm just going to select this to v i can't remember if v is used but we'll have to see in game i can customize how our third person camera appears in game and toggle interact we can leave this on so now let's just drop into a game and we're going to start with this operative and test them in a real match now i don't know if we have to be in a local game but most of these mods are client side so i believe we can connect to an official server and use them because we don't need any host to build to use this mod unless you're using one of the mods where you can spawn bots you don't really need to actually host the game boom so we just load into the lobby and you can see even though i'm in the lobby when i tap that v key that we configured before it switches my perspective now it's a little tad glitchy because the game is not built to be in first person in the lobby because usually you just see the, the weapon not just your hands like this but we can just press view let's just jump into a random quick play to test out other mods and we'll test third person out when we shoot with a weapon for example okay we're in a game as you can see now i can switch to third person mode which looks absolutely sick especially when we're using a melee weapon it probably wasn't a great idea for me to drop down here into all these undead but it just makes the game like play in a completely different way wait let's test it out with our rifle boom so you can see we have like a little third person crosser here, which is just this dot, which has been toggled with our other mod. If we didn't install that, then we wouldn't really know where we were aiming because the crosshair wouldn't be enabled. It's kind of a little bit scuffed because we don't actually have the cross, but it goes red when there's enemies and obviously it goes up and down when the gun recoils. So it's kind of like playing in first person, but just a little bit different. And it just makes the game a little bit more interesting because a lot of people prefer third person shooters. And obviously game engines can be changed into completely different things if you just use mods. So it's pretty crazy. But as you can see, that's how to install mods into Warhammer Darktide. If you have any questions, if you have any problems or any difficulties getting through the steps of this tutorial, make sure to leave your questions and problems below and I'll try my best to help you solve them. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more gaming and mod videos on the channel and i'll catch you real soon